we haven't really got a tourist season this year. We have some very welcome visitors from Guernsey, um, but uh, it's vastly different picture from what uh, we would normally expect. We do, however, have families uh, staying on island to a greater extent. And um, whilst the department had made the decision to, to not run any heritage railways this year in the light of the COVID situation, and that decision was made uh, right at the start of what should have been the season, um, we did review the situation and uh, came forward with a, with a plan, having looked carefully at the numbers and the operational implications that we would put on those, uh, th- those services through the uh, school holiday period. So why the two that you've chosen to run and not the Snaefell Mountain Railway? Because plenty of locals will enjoy the views that, uh, from the top of Snaefell, of course. They will on most days, not, although not Maybe not, not this afternoon. Um, <laughs> so it was very much a question of uh, looking at the, uh, the, the costs of, and, and the practicalities of opening the service up and, and the expected revenues that we would generate. And um, we had um, effectively lost the budget for uh, running the services as part of the budget reforecast exercise that Treasury Minister brought forward in July Timwold um, when all the departments were asked to uh, go through their budgets and, and review what they would uh, realistically need for the, for, the, for the year and at that time the services had all been cancelled and, and there was no prospect of them being reintroduced so effectively the budgets had gone we had to look at doing something to respond to the staycation um, opportunity and, and try and put something positive on uh, in terms of heritage railways for our Guernsey uh, visitors. Um, but it needed to be self, uh, self, self-funding, self really. And we, we had a look at the, the cost and the practicalities and uh, it was a much bigger challenge to, uh, to operate Snaefell Mountain Railway than, than, than the other two. So we took, a, we took what I think was a balanced, balanced view able to justify that to uh, Treasury and um, I think the public have responded to, to that. You can buy the travel cards which incorporate the mountain trips as well. Have, have they been amended so people get a slight discount? Not um, able to do that? So the, the, the combined cards are, the, you know, they've, they've, they've remained as, uh, as, 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 as planned. Um, but uh, this is more about people you know, pay, buying their uh, tickets for the particular journeys that, uh, that, that, that they wish to, to make. In terms of the, uh, you said there's a fairly good service with the, the other two, the Manx Electric Railway and the, uh, what's it called? Steam Railway. The Steam Railway, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so, so what is the take-up? What's the difference between this time last year, for example? Um, to be honest, I, I don't have um, the, that, that fine level of detail, but uh, we're, 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 co- we're confident that the levels that we'd anticipated in, in justifying the decision to open, that that, that decision has been, uh, has been vindicated. Uh, I mean, clearly we have got a lot less uh, visitors, so I would expect when we come to do a full review of the season um, that, that the numbers will be uh, quite significantly uh, lower, as, as they are in other forms of, um, for example, the public transport numbers are, are, are still a lot lower. Um, so I think we've got the balance about right. You can never please everybody, and it would be lovely to have been able to just reopen everything and put all the services on, um, but we've got... We've got to take a balanced, a balanced view, and um, I, I think we've done that.